Okay, I've got another two questions here. Okay, let's look at question one first. <coughs> if uh, x minus y squared equals to 4, and uh, x squared plus y squared equals to 130, find one third xy. Alright, so... Question one. Okay, x minus y squared equals to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Rearrange it. Squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Alright, so this is what you get for the expansion. And you know that this is equals to 4. Alright. You know that this is equals to 4. And you know that x squared plus y squared. Okay, it goes to 130. So negative 2xy, you get 130, goes to 4. Okay, negative 2xy is equals to 4 minus 130. You bring it 130 over to the other side of the equation, you get negative 1, 2, 6, isn't it? And xy equals to 63. Alright, so if you want to find one third xy, one third xy is just simply one third times 63 or one third of 63 which is 21. Alright, let's do question 2 here. <coughs> if x plus y equals to 6 and x minus y equals to 10, find 2x squared minus 2y squared first. Can you extract the common term? Okay, you extract the common term, you get 2, apologies, x squared minus y squared, isn't it? And then you get 2, x plus y, x minus y. Okay, and you know that your x plus y is 6, and your x minus y is 10. So 2 times 6 will give you 12 and 10, 12 and 10, 12 multiplied by 10 will give you 120. Alright, so these are another two examples to help you crystallize your thinking on algebra.